something about starting red is like a trigger for me. And then let's say they take that a, a step further and they start to realize that whatever, I have a real aversion to the idea of losing. And when I get into that loss mode, I just start getting real risk seeking. So let's say they've identified that as one of their triggers. Your advice would be, what, what would you advise they do next? Once they identify that this is a, a trigger for them, use that information to maybe first of all, be very careful of the first trade that they put on of the day or um, work on That's something once that happens of getting past it, like avoid, uh, avoid that situation at all costs or um, get better at dealing with that situation. Mm -hmm. I think there's really two fronts to this. There's the work outside of the charts that then help you deal with within charts problems. And that mm -hmm. that's, I have to tell it, it's, it's mindfulness. And mindfulness is not only, only about meditation, but I think it's really a crucial thing that you, at any point of your trading journey, you will find the need to have it. Like one way or another, you have just to click with it. So for people that don't like meditation, and not meditation, but just mindfulness, just practicing being present, this is it. So um, this really helps you be in the present. So that type of off charts work as well as practicing the habits you want in charts, off charts. But then the other thing is you want to get, I'd say, a coping mechanism, a coping new response for yourself. So for some traders, it would be as a cell, as, as interruption. So once you start to notice that you're triggered, you don't want to keep going completely unaware of it and disregarding what's happening. You want to pause at certain, once you become aware, you want to pause and you want to do something to go back I'd say from level two to zero, being zero, the last no trigger at all and 10 out of control. You want to kind of bring yourself back in a lot of moments of your trading session throughout, throughout awareness first. You want to then, okay, awareness, I'm in level three, quote unquote. I want to bring myself to level one. If you're in level 10, which is out of control, it's impossible for you to go from 10 to zero in a matter of 10 minutes. So that doesn't happen. Finish the trading day. Tomorrow is another day. But yeah, when it comes to that, I think uh, getting a coping new coping mechanism for yourself. For some people, it's a breathing technique. For other people, it's 50 push-ups. I've seen everything. Just one that resonates with you. And the requirements are that, that allow you to... Um, be positive, uh, allow you to recompose yourself and calm down yourself and using that specific coping mechanism once you didn't cross the when you didn't cross the line yet. So it's effective that you can use it, but you 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 have to be in a state, in an emotional um, mindset that allows you to use it. So the, the same conversation that we were having some time ago that was uh, if you cross the limit, it's just done deal. Um, but if you're still able to regulate yourself and you're going to know what that looks like, you're going to, you know, as I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this, there might, there, there might be a lot of traders thinking, I have no idea. That's very objective to put like a limit. But as you start with a goal in mind, okay, going to collect information about myself. You start to really fill out a lot of levels of the scale and you start to really understand how things get out of control. Once you have that information, yeah, it's about the, it's, it's about the coping mechanism. It's about, then it's all about practicing to interrupt because you already have the awareness. You know how you look like, so you wanna use it. But your use of the awareness becomes very difficult and ineffective once you cross the line. It's, it gets completely thrown out of the window. It's like you're, all your self-beautiful uh, awareness skills, they get thrown out of the window. You can only use them for your best interest once you're still manageable. And that's being smart. That's not being, that's being humble as well. Because once you cross the line, you have to be humble. Okay, I'm not. I, I'm a human, and um, it happens with every with everybody. And I need to remove myself out of the charts. But that's the ego part that you need to overcome, right? The ego tells you, no, you're capable of keep going, and you you need to get that win, and you you can uh, get that good response. No, it doesn't work that this way. So yeah, I would say get your coping mechanism. You can try out different things. Okay, maybe you don't know if the breathing technique is best for you, but maybe going outside 10 minutes for, for a run, I don't know, whatever. Um, journaling, voice recording yourself, but taking those 10 minutes out so your brain chemistry can come back to to normal uh, so you can have the, the all the resources in your favor and then go back to, to your desk and um, you'll be able to have a bigger perspective and see things through. You take a look at the hour time frame, how it looks like. Oh, okay, I didn't notice this was happening. Maybe it's not the best time to take a trade. I'll just uh, wait a little bit longer. And that way you're able to to practice the, the interruption. That's so important.